Hello. Welcome again to Dap Mentors. My name is Darlington Gospel, and in today's teaching or topic, I want to tell you about decentralized blockchain storage networks. This is different from a regular blockchain network. A regular blockchain network is all about processing, you know, uh, finances, you know, trading, you know, performing monetary based transactions. You get that. So such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some of those other layer one blockchain networks. But a decentralized storage network is different. It's different in the sense that data files basically are stored inside this network. And when this file is stored, your file will be duplicated across this blockchain uh, node provider that are in this network. So this is cool. This means that there will be no single point of failure when you are hosting your data, okay, on these spaces. Why it is important for you to know about decentralized, you know, storage network is because the regular blockchain network that we do use every day to code our DApps, such as the Ethereum and its layer two, they are not cheap when you try to store refi that is large in it okay it will cost you so much it will cost you a fortune trying to store an image or a file up to one gigabyte in those uh places one cool thing you must understand about a blockchain storage network the storage ones that i'm discussing in this particular video is that they are cheap okay they are cheap to host your file compared to centralized hosting places so that means for example where i could spend like ten dollars in every single month to store in my my course item or my videos and all of that you know it could cost as low as five dollars or even you know less for me to store in a decentralized storage network and it's more protected and it's also encrypted you know because if you're using something like all this google drive and all of that um your files are not encrypted you know they are not end-to-end -end encrypted but with this decentralized storage network such as the sia network you have your files encrypted end-to-end -end. also you can literally host your website in some of these decentralized uh networks such as with Awi, which is which is what uh, the three blockchain network that we're going to be discussing today before we start with the first i need to let you know that if you try to save something like uh let's say you're doing an nft project or a project where you have videos and files and those things are in, an integral part of that DAP. that means you have to rely on a centralized data you know platform to merge with a decentralized you know application it doesn't quite make any sense you see what i'm talking about so to make it make sense that both the data and the logic are both decentralized then you need a blockchain network that is outside of storing text and transactions for this thing to store your files okay you can't use aws for this you have to use a decentralized storage network i know of one blockchain network that offers you that cheap you know data storage vibe i and i think there's a certain limitations to it as well but if you know of this icp internet computer protocol they are doing phenomenal stuff when it comes to dap building dapps and decentralized applications they are like the best that i've seen so far in this space of blockchain so you should check them out so now let's get into uh the blockchain network response that that deal with data storage you know renting and hosting of data you know making it decentralized for you know uh, application users and all of that so let's let's dive into them the first one i want to discuss right now is called filecoin okay filecoin is the um the og the grandpa in this realm you understand uh the technology was built up you know upon the uh ipfs technology that we already have so they were the one that i feel like I, they, they, they have a lot to do with ipfs so they understand the technology of decentralized you know storage so they brought about ipfs which is a blockchain network where storage uh data are being stored and you know people provide their computer 
these are also called uh, once you those, these are also called node validators as well so because before the data is stored on the blockchain it has to be validated and you you know providing your computer for someone else to put their data you become like a host and then the person that is saving their data on your computer is like the uh, renter okay so and this whole concept of renting this thing is more predominant with um CR network which i will soon discuss but the whole idea of you know storing file and the blockchain network which you know uh the filecoin they call it fvm filecoin virtual machine we take care of this consensus uh consensus process and then add it to this thing and give you back like a cdn you know which, which uh, like a, a file an id that that represents that particular file that you saved so it's cool i haven't used it myself but i understand the concept because i've used uh, uh, the next one that, which i'm about to discuss with you i've used sia okay for filecoin i feel like it may be a little bit more expensive as the volatility of the market keep going because of the price keep increasing and you know decreasing so um I, I, I don't know this 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 is not um certain but if you look at if you think about it it may also affect the cost of storing your file on the network because of the increase of and decrease of you know the cost of storing uh your file on the network so this is what I think this is like going to be like a global problem for most of these um, decentralized network, except they have like an algorithm to, you know, balance that off, which will be cool. All right. So um, they one thing about Filecoin is that they have a lot of capacity, storage capacity. So you can be sure that you have enough there and it is cool. You, you can trust those guys being that those guys are the one that actually built uh ipfs so and you can store an entire website in that particular uh, blockchain network you can if you have a front end you can just throw it up there and you see so that is how all those people they say oh i have a decentralized application that the front end is built on ipfs or a you know a, a decentralized storage network that enables for that so that is it for filecoin now see a coin I myself have used Sia coin, okay, and I mean, I myself have used the Sia blockchain, and it's really cool. It's cool, and the guys they are doing a lot of great work. They are trying a lot, and they have a good product. And where the idea behind the product is renters and hosts, okay, where the renters are the people that are, you know renting a space it's more like renting a space where you want to put in your data and then the host are the people providing the space where you want to put in their data and all this thing is being uh, regulated by the blockchain network itself the 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 logic and the consensus model that has been built around you know the CR on blockchain so when you put a data in the CR network what happens is that that data is encrypted and it shrinked and is chunked and is put upon multiple computers in that network so no person have you know uh, an idea of what is being stored in their computer it's just a um odyssey just an encrypted bulk of code and they can never you know really know what is in there so when you're calling the data back the blockchain literally reverse that whole thing and present you with your original data the cool thing is about rental is that they also have this uh this feel about how data is stored it's almost like this aws where you have objects model like if you're very familiar with aws you understand s s3 bucket you know that s3 bucket you know that a file has a key and you know a value okay that key value pair which makes it an object like format that is how you know um data stored on the blockchain on the CR blockchain looks like okay when you retrieve it and then that is it for the CR network okay one the last one here is the Aweaver okay the Aweaver blockchain it's cool still it's more it's it feels more like the Phi coin ecosystem as well 
you know and but one thing that they post of that these other blockchain that i've previously mentioned they don't, don't boast of is permanency okay the ability for you to just throw up your co your, your your piece of work there anything that you put in in that blockchain is permanent is there it cannot be removed and it's forever so that is what i say you know i haven't tested their platform but these you can literally build an application upon their platform you just put it there and the front end we communicate with your dap and everything is all decentralized so and that will be permanent so you don't have to worry about coming back tomorrow and you've run run out of fund so they've kind of removed it from your platform from their platform or they've made it inaccessible so they don't they boast that they don't have that kind of situation that they are five five you put in their network is permanent so i need you to, what you can do is to check out these three you know blockchain networks that i just you know shared with you and you we get a great idea on how you can use it to incorporate into your decentralized application in the future also check out their documentations you know um you'll be marveled about it so with that said um darlington gospel and i will see you in the next tutorial bye bye